and we are here today with bluegrass legend Roland White. As a member of the Kentucky Colonels, Roland made several appearances on the Andy Griffith Show. He was also a member of the Bill Monroe's Bluegrass Boys and also played with Lester Flatt. Right. Roland was also a member of the Country Gazette and he has also uh, won two Grammy Awards with the Nashville Bluegrass Band. Roland is now the front man of his own band, Roland White Band. So, Roland, tell us how you got started playing. How did all this begin? Well, I started playing uh, growing up in the state of Maine. My dad mm -hmm. played uh, fiddle and played rhythm guitar and sang yeah. country songs. We're into country music. My mo mother had a big collection of country records. And uh, then uh, we didn't know what bluegrass was. We just played old-time instruments like Ragtime, Annie Soldiers, Joy's Bottom Cabbage Down. We went <laughs> to California. One of my uncles had been out there a while, came to the house and says, hey, I want to hear the kids play. So we played for him and he said, Roland, did you ever hear of Bill Monroe? I said, well, no. He says, well, he's a mandolin player. He's on the Grand Ole, Op yeah. Op Grand Ole Opry and he's fast. I went out and bought a record and the first record I got was Pike County Breakdown and it changed our lives. Wow. We started playing bluegrass then, yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, you've played with Bill Monroe and Lester Flatt. Tell us about your time with these two great legends. Well, uh, it was challenging to say <laughs> the least. <laughs> I went into Bill Monroe after the Kentucky Colonels disbanded in 1966. I went with Bill Monroe in 1967. Sure. And as a guitar player, and I, you know, I could play guitar, and I, and in fact, I was uh, s uh, subbing f for one of his players when he came to California that mm -hmm. year, and uh, he hired me. And uh, so there was a, quite a challenge to play guitar for Bill Monroe, but I got through it fine and, and there. Of course, I knew all the songs he was singing, so I would, sure. didn't have a problem playing, singing with him. Did that for a year and nine months, and Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs broke up in 1969 and went with work with them for four years, with him for four years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in 1973, my brother Clarence called me up. He says, I'm done my gig with the birds. I want to do some more acoustic music, and we have a trip to Europe. You want to go? I said, yes. We got together with my brother Eric, and we went. That's amazing. And uh, then after that, uh, shortly after that, he was killed, my brother Clarence. So, uh, and so I, I, that's when I joined the Country mm -hmm. Gazette. Mm -hmm. They needed a guitar player, so I played guitar with them for two years mm -hmm. and played the mandolin for the next uh, 12 years. And, and then joined the National Bluegrass Band until 2009, and then since uh, 2000, I've had my own band, the Roland White Band. Yeah, that's great. And that's what we're doing. And left me here all alone, just to listen to the rain, we don't know, in her little Well, Roland, I know you also do a lot of teaching. Tell us about that. Well, uh, yeah, I teach uh, uh, mainland workshops mm -hmm. uh, throughout the country and abroad. I've been to England. I've been to France. Wow. Uh, uh, I've been all over the United States, mm -hmm. week-long camps, you know, at least four days long. Sure. And then uh, I teach a lot at home. Yeah. Yeah, at my home, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a cool lick that you can do in any key. Uh, this chord right here, say this, you know, or A, and I'll do it in D, and uh, I'll play it one time, then I'll break it down. Okay, I'm going to break it down. With a uh, hammer on and a pull off. One more. 
more time. I did a little different at the end there. So the tail end of that is different. There's two, two, two different ones. So again. And then it's the, one more. <laughs> well, Roland, tell us about your beautiful Gibson that you have right here. Well, it was uh, built for me in uh, 2004 by the Gibson Company to my specs, mm -hmm. and um, I like it very much. I, th I think it'll do me <laughs> the rest of my days, you know. <laughs> I just really like it. It's got a s s slender neck, and uh, it's a copy of a, a 23 lower, mm -hmm. but uh, it's lacquer instead of varnish, and I really like it a whole lot. Yes, yeah. it's, it's, just serv it's served me real well, yeah. <laughs> Roland, tell us about what you're currently working on, um, future projects, your website, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, my website, rollandwhite.com. Mm -hmm. You can see all the product we have uh, available there. Yeah. And uh, we uh, just recorded a live concert at the Station Inn uh, a couple of weeks ago, and hopefully it'll be an album, a mm -hmm. live album. Mm -hmm. And uh, I continue doing workshops sure. and concerts. I got a trip coming up in, uh, in February. To, to uh, central, well, San Francisco area, doing a workshop there and mm -hmm. uh, a couple of concerts with some players out there, and uh, just more of the more of the same, I guess. Yeah. You know, yeah, just keep playing, plugging along. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk with us. It's always such a joy to visit with you. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> yeah.